Question three then from paper two of the 2021 Higher Maths resource paper. Three mark question here. Given that h is this trig function of a linear expression, determine the rate of change of this when t is 10. Well, that means there's a calculation. So we have to get your calculator out and press the buttons. Well, the rate of change. The rate of change is the derivative. So differentiating this, so the outside first, sine goes to cos of whatever. In this case, it's a 2t plus pi upon 6, but multiplied by the inner derivative, which is a 2. So that means the rate of change is 2 cos 2t plus pi upon 6. That's h dash t. So there was two marks for the differentiation. It says start to differentiate and finish off. So essentially it would be differentiate the outside, then differentiate the inside. But I'm going to put it down for getting the final result. Then it actually said evaluate the rate of change when t is 10. So that means I want h dashed of 10. So that will be 2 cos of 2 times 10 plus pi upon 6. Now, there's no point messing about to figure out where that angle is. You don't need to go around your diagram to see how many times you go around to see the effective angle to evaluate at cost, because it's a calculator paper, so you just press that straight into your calculator. Now, one thing to note here is, with differentiation and integration, angles have to be in radians. The derivative is only defined this way in terms of radians. You can tell it's in radians anyway because of that pi upon 6. And the fact there's no degree signs anywhere. So your answer has to be in radians. So make sure your calculator's in radians for something like this. So just put that in, you press equals, and you get the answer. Now, everything was exact. Pi upon 6 is exact. That 10 is exact by implication because there's no indication that there's any approximation there which means you're free to put down as many decimal places as you like. So 0 0.20612 and so on. And then I'll round it off though, because usually you round it off with radians to three decimal places, because that's round about the same accuracy as one decimal place for degrees. So 0 0.206.